Hey folks, in this video we're going to be discussing how to create and write Google Documents using Google Apps Script. This is a follow-up to my how to automate Google Documents using Google Sheets. This video is going to be focusing on the fundamentals of creating and writing Google Documents. Uh, so we're going to be focusing on how paragraphs work, how the document is structured, and then if we have time we're going to touch on how to add headers and page breaks. Um, so we're going to begin by going to Google Drive, and I'd recommend creating a project folder. That way everything is nice and organized. And uh, we're going to do something a little bit different in that we are going to be just writing into a Google Apps Script. We're not going to be doing one within Google Sheets. So we're going to go up into the left-hand corner and click on that New icon, and then we're going to go to the More section, and then we're going to select Google Apps Script. Google Apps Script should be available to your Google Drive, uh, but if it's not, you can uh, go to Connect More Apps and search for it and then add it. Cool. So we're going to open this up and we are going to be focusing on the Document App Library. So once this loads, I'm going to clear out my boilerplate because it's just a rhythm thing and I'm, I'm going to call my project How to Create and Write docs cool so then i'm going to begin by going to line one and writing the word function and i'm going to call it main i'm going to do parentheses curly brackets enter and then we're going to get going uh, so the results of this lesson is going to be more playful it's going to be more exploratory we're not really going to create a tangible thing the way that we did with some of the other videos where we like actually have something that you know we could provide as a deliverable this is a foundational step to that point so that you have a better understanding of what you're doing so that you can be creative with your own projects so we're going to begin by declaring a variable for doc creator and you can call this whatever you want to i'm doing that because this literally creates the document so we're going to call the document app and then we are going to use the create method. And within the create method, we have the ability to name our document. So you can see this is really straightforward, right? In the documentation, it says uh, creates and returns a new document. Uh, so we are just going to call this uh, how to create Google Docs. And uh, you can call it, again, call it whatever you want to. Uh, we're going to declare another variable for doc uh, where we're going to reference that doc creator variable and then we're going to use the get body method and what this is going to allow us to do is access the body portion of the google document so google docs are structured in three sections it's a header section the body and then the footer section so if you want to add a title to your you know every page in, in your document you can have a header up there. Uh, if you want to add like footnotes or page numbers or any of that type of stuff, it goes in your footer section. But the meat of like, you know, when you're writing out paragraphs and all that type of stuff happens in the body. So we are going to be accessing the body. If you want to experiment with header and footer, you can, it's probably a method in here. So you could probably do get header, right? And then this will literally like open up the header section. And then if you want to do footer, it's probably the get footer section, right? So, so we're not going to do that today, uh, but we are going to focus on the body. Uh, with that being said, feel free to experiment, right? Go off, do header stuff, do footer stuff, do, do whatever you want to do to be creative. Cool. So I am going to save my project now, and we're going to go to line five, and we're going to start doing stuff. So we're going to call that doc uh, variable. And we're going to be focusing on the insert paragraph method today. But again, if you want to play around, uh, this is a good first step. Once you call that doc variable or whatever variable is using the get body method, you can enter anything in there. You can start adding images, tables, um, paragraphs, headers, you name it, right? So this is, this is really like you've opened the door and now the world of document creation is available to you so we're going to do insert paragraph and i am so sorry this is so unhelpful that this card goes up there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to and you don't have to do this but i'm going to add in a couple lines so that when we do this we get 
<laughs> better documentation. So you can see that this is saying it will insert the paragraph at an index. So documents are created of these child indexes, which are basically the points on the page that you want to put something. So it starts at zero and then it goes to infinity, right? So um, because we want to put this at the beginning of the document, we're going to start it at index zero. And then you can see the documentation has changed. So now we have the ability to put something there. So we're going to put text. So I'm going to put a single quote. And I'm going to say, this is my first paragraph. And hopefully I spell everything right, but sorry in advance if I don't. I'm about telling, not spelling. OK, cool. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Um, and now I'm going to hit Run. Uh, so it's going to ask me to give permission. It's going to ask you to give permission. You know, we've talked about this in previous videos. Like, this is totally safe. Um, it has a very threatening sign that comes up here where it's like, stop, be careful. You know, you're, you haven't verified this app. It's just because we haven't sent it to Google for verification. Uh, so we're going to go to that unsafe link down there. And then this is just saying that like you're allowing it to create and delete. So just be careful if you don't know who is making this script, but we're making it. So it's totally cool. Cool. So we got no errors. I'm going to open up our Google Drive. And once this loads, we should see this how to create Google Docs uh, link in here, this uh, Google document. And eventually, I'll be able to open it. My computer is very slow. All right, cool. And it did exactly what we wanted to do, right? We did how to create Google Docs, and we have this is my first paragraph. Wonderful. So now what we're going to do is clear that out because we don't need it anymore. Um, and we're going to go back to our script. And now what we're going to do is we're going to copy our, you know what, let's write it out just for reps. So we're going to go line six, or we're going to go one line under our first paragraph. And we're going to write doc dot insert paragraph. And then we're going to enter zero. And then we're going to say, this is my second paragraph. Now, this is going to cause a problem for us uh, because it's not going to do what we want to, right? So I wrote this with the intention of my document having the first line be, this is my, my first paragraph, and then the second line being, this is my second paragraph. Um, so that's not going to actually happen, and I'm going to explain why. Um, we are actually going to have our second paragraph on top of our first paragraph. And the reason for this is because we did not change the child index number. So the way that computer programs work, the way that Google App Script works, is they read sequentially. So they go line one, line two, line three, line four, line five, line six, then it stops. So what happened here is line five said, insert the paragraph at child index zero. Then line six said, insert paragraph at child index zero. So the result was when this document was created, this is my first paragraph went here. And then once that second line of code for this is my second paragraph came in, this got moved into child index zero. So if we want to have this appear the way that we actually want it to appear with our first paragraph being first and our second paragraph being second, we have to change that index to one. So when we run this, well now we should now have, this is my first paragraph and then this is my second paragraph. Beautiful, right? Now, I don't know about you, but when typically when I write a paragraph, I like to have a space in between my paragraphs, right? And you'll notice that our script does not do that. And that's because we didn't tell our, our script that we wanted our paragraphs to have some type of spacing. In order to add in a line break, you have to do slash n. And this will result in your script having a line break after 
whatever it is. So in this case, it will say this is my first paragraph, and then this slash n will add a line break, and then this is my second paragraph will go in there. Cool, and we will eventually have a document here. Perfect. And there we go. Now we have a line break. Cool. So this child index thing is fine now, right? Because we only have two of them. But imagine a project where you have five paragraphs, then a header, then five paragraphs, and then a chart, two paragraphs, and then a list, three paragraphs, and then another chart. And someone comes to you and says, hey, we actually need to add in a new paragraph, or you decide that you need to add a new paragraph. You then have to go through and manually change all of these numbers to allow for that new paragraph to be entered in there. A solution that I've recently been using has been uh, declaring a variable. Uh, in this case, I call it index. And I declare that index to be 0. And then instead of hard coding a number in there, I write index in the index position of the, uh, the, act, the item that I want to add to my document. And then at the end, I add on index and plus plus, which means that it iterates upon the index. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add index plus plus to the end of both of my lines, and I'm going to remove these numbers. So what you should have here is doc.insert paragraph the word index, comma, whatever the contents of your paragraph is. Then you're going to have your you know, closing uh, parentheses, your semicolon, and then you're going to have index plus plus semicolon for each line. If you don't have this, it won't work. So we're going to hit uh, save, and we are going to run. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to clean this up so that you can see that a new one is created. Uh, so we're going to run this. And we're going to go back to our Google Drive, and then we should have a document appear here. And check it out. We got the exact same thing that we wanted. Now, let's say for, um, for our purposes that we decide that we actually want the second paragraph to be before the first paragraph. So what we're going to do is all we're just going to copy line 8, and then we are going to add it above line 1. And I, I'm going to add a slash just so that we get that page break again. And we're going to hit Run. And what should happen now is we should have a new Google document created. And this should have second paragraph first, and then first paragraph, right? So this, in my opinion, is super helpful because then you can just drag and drop, copy paste, similar, similarly to how you would do it with like a true text document. Cool. So last thing we're going to touch on, I think, think, unless if I get inspired by something, is uh, adding in headers. So uh, we're doing paragraphs here, but you might decide that you want to have a header. Uh, so what I am going to do is, sorry, I did a false start there. I'm going to keep that there. I'm going to have it be first paragraph followed by second paragraph. And then I'm going to do doc.insert paragraph. I'm going to do index, comma, and I'm going to say header. And then I am going to do a period. And what am I going to do? Set heading. And then I'm going to do document app dot. Uh, what is it? Paragraph heading. And then once we do that, you can see we have all of those like heading one, heading two, three, four, five, six, seven, all that type of stuff. Cool. So let's do, you know what? Let's do heading one. You can do whatever you want you want to, right? And then after that, we just have to do semicolon, add an index plus plus, add in a semicolon. And then just for the purposes of having some stuff there, let's change this to be this is my third paragraph. And this is my fourth paragraph. Cool. So we got all of our indexes. We got our indexes plus plus, And we are going to hit Run. And we're going to go back to our document or drive. And then we got this new document in here. And check it out. Now we have first paragraph, second paragraph, little break, header, 
third paragraph, fourth paragraph, right? So, uh, and then just to kind of show, like, if we wanted to, we can just remove this, put these in here. Now we got this like wild concoction of all these numbers going on where it's going to be first paragraph, third paragraph, fourth paragraph, second paragraph. And then uh, let's run it just so you can see what happens, right? Clean up that indention, doesn't really matter, whatever. Cool. So now we got another Google Doc in here. We have so many Google Docs. Thank you. Cool. But now you can see we got first paragraph, third paragraph, fourth paragraph, second paragraph, header. We didn't have to do anything, right? We just copy pasted and moved it up and down. So the index method I think is super helpful. I would encourage you to use it. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I hope you found this helpful. Um, you know, the, the next couple of videos I think are going to be focusing on a lot of this type of stuff where we're going to deep dive into specific elements of the document creation. Um, you know, and, and like I, like I've said, you know, just cause I do something one way, doesn't mean it's the only way to do it or even the best way to do it. Um, you know, it's just the way that I do it. So if you have alternate ways or you've seen better ways, or you have other ways that you like to do things, drop them in the comments, you know, go down and read the comments, see what other people are saying. You know, I'm a student just like everybody else. And, you know, these things are a progressive incremental experience and we get better when we learn about new things. Um, so that's my goal. And, you know, I hope you found this helpful. Um, you know, so hopefully I'll see you in the next one.